Shaitan means devil in Arabic, or Satan if you are Sean Connery. Get your ass out of here! It is also the title of a 2006 horror film that belongs to the new French extremity movement. While it is not as grotesque or soul crushingly depressing as most of its contemporaries, Shaitan is stuffed with enough hip style, grimy grime, and overall weirdness to earn its place. What the hell are you doing? Most importantly of all, it features legendary French star Vincent Cassel, as you've never seen him before, guaranteed. Ready for this? asks a sweaty DJ. Not only does he refer to the manic jockeying of discs that he is about to unleash, but to the wild ride that us the audience have just sat down to experience. Who knows, by the time the end credits roll, maybe we shall share his dazed, blank expression, knowing we have seen too much, and we can never scrape it from our minds. No time for any of that, it's Christmas Eve, and the parties are raging! At this particular club, a group of friends try and make the most of the festivities. Their bad behaviour, and even worse breath, doesn't bring them any Christmas cheer. All they get is a Christmas champagne bottle to the head. There is one reason to be merry. A pretty young lady is eager to lead them on. To her home in the countryside. Her little village is quaint, and full of the most normal looking people in France. Among the locals is Joseph. Hey. Look, I'm Woody. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. He is the young woman's housekeeper, one head of a goat milker, and France's top Olympic diver. Their house is full of creepy dolls, because of course it is. And there's also the issue of Joseph's partner, who hides away out of sight. Nothing dodgy here at all. Screw it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Even when things are going well and they enjoy a nice Yuletide dinner, the sense that something... Uh, scratch that. The sense that everything is off keeps you on permanent edge. And then, yeah, the last half an hour suddenly dives off the deep end and distributes all the strange horror you signed up for. Whee! I love me some Vincent Casserole. Hey. As a teenager, I enjoyed the one-two punch of Blatin and the Mezzeline films. So the actor's name has been a draw for me ever since. When I discovered Vincent starred in a weird horror film playing a dodgy farmer, I just knew I had to get my hands on that DVD. Unsurprisingly, he is the dark heart of the movie. For a long time, he is presented as a joke. Overly smiley, dumb as dirt, racist in a grandparent sort of way, with a weird hunched walk and confusing sexual undertones. When you let your guard down, and his truly disturbing real persona threatens to reveal itself, it really is disconcerting. It is a brave performance. This was director Kim Chapelon's debut feature, but he had worked with Cazelle on a couple of short films prior to this. That existing fraternity must have helped when the actor signed on to... do the things he does in this film. The other reason to watch is for Shaitan's style. The first two thirds of the film are quite typical in terms of plot and whatnot, but the kinetic energy carries you through the events in an engrossing way. Pounding electro beats accentuate the quick pacing, while a constantly evolving visual form keeps your eyes peeled. The best way to describe Shaitan might be Imagine Eli Ruff, but French! Bonjour. Bonjour. There are shades of hostile, with beautiful girls luring unsuspecting partygoers into nightmare ordeals. It includes a third act feverish hospital sequence that is almost too reminiscent of cabin fever, while also sharing that film's desire to briefly step away from the main plot to tell a crass and heavily stylized campfire tale. Suffice to say, there is an odd thread of comedy snickering away beneath the surface of Shaitan that is very much like Roth. So if you're a fan of those films, certainly check this one out. I previously spoke about another European Christmas Eve alternative horror in the form of 1995's The Day of the Beast. Might I suggest pairing the two films together for one very freakish Xmas? 
for now, I might instead suggest just settling down for the evening. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bedbugs bite, oh Jesus fucking Christ, help me Dennis Hopper. <laughs>